Joseph in Calgary, Canada writes to me and he says, Hi Paul, I calibrated my speaker using the Odyssey XT32 software of my receiver. Ooh. <laughs> when I looked at the calibration curves, I noticed a big dip between 1200 to 3000 hertz. For all my speakers, front, center, surrounds. Now, a quick research through Google told me that what it is is called the BBC dip and that it is intentional. What's the history behind the BBC dip and what would happen if I were to ignore it? Well, it's been called a whole bunch of things. It's been called the BBC dip, the New Dell dip from my, my partner and the founder of Infinity. It is a, uh, how do I, Chris Brunhaver would be much better to answer this question. And I gotta, I gotta grab that. He's been so busy with our new speakers, which by the way, a lot of you ask, our new speakers, the FR30, should be beta testing this September. And this is, we're in 2021 now. And we, the, oh, I just saw the, the, all the machined wooden parts are done and they're starting to build the prototypes now. It's really exciting, really excited about that. But the dip was put in, and I, uh, I know it's called the BBC dip because the original BBC monitors had that dip in it. They weren't flat because we don't hear um, flat so well. A speaker that is, no speaker is flat, but a speaker that is essentially pretty flat along its on axis will sound kind of bright, forward, and um, up in your face, okay? And I don't know the exact reasons why, but I do know from my work with building speakers, with uh, working with Arnie and Infinity, that taking that 1200 to 3000 range, and actually we used to take it lower. We, we would start it at about, oh, I think eight, 800, 900, somewhere around there, and roll off and make this plateau, or this, this, um, this shelf that would go down and then back up. And when I, first time I heard about it, um, Arnie Nudell was showing me, and, and we were working on a new Genesis loudspeaker, or maybe it was an Infinity, I don't, anyway, we were working on some speaker. And we listened to it and it was very upfront. It was very much in the speaker. There was no depth. There was no, it just didn't sound lifelike. It sounded like hi-fi. And Arnie said, I think I know what's wrong. And so we swept the speaker and he goes, yeah, look. And we could see that it was straight across. And as an electronics engineer, I look at that and go, that looks pretty damn good. I mean, that's straight line there. Uh, you don't want that because the ear it, it does, isn't going to like that in, within this, this situation. So Arnie created a shelf when, and dropped it down mm, a dB and a half, two dB, uh, and then gently brought it back up. And all of a sudden, the sound left the speakers. It moved back. The speakers had depth and spaciousness, and it sounded real. So that's what the BBC dip is, what it does. Why it does it in the psychoacoustic sense, again, I, I'll have to defer to, to my buddy Chris, who can explain maybe in more technical terms than I just did. But for, for your purposes, go ahead and try it. I think what you'll find, though, is that it's going to bring everything forward in an unnatural way, and, and I don't think you're going to like it. So keep that BBC dip going. Uh, almost every speaker I can think of, certainly our new FR30 PS Audio speakers will have that same dip in it. Okay, <laughs> take it easy. Bye.